Ladies, hello, how are we? Guess what? I'm gonna be coming and dazzling you girls right now. I'm not the stripper, let's just settle down. She was getting inside. Can I borrow this? Place out your hand. No, here. Don't you? Who doesn't love magic? Some people don't, actually. You weren't having a really serious conversation about breaking up with a guy, that were you? Because that would be really awkward. Or like, hey, we're gonna break up with each other. You're not allowed to judge in 2014. Can you shuffle? And you mix? I'll hold this. You can? It's alright, just mix the card, just mix them. Look at you, pro. That's great. So what are we celebrating tonight? Friday. Friday, TJF. All right. Pass back the wine, you'll need it. I'm just going to get you to uh, name any card that you see, but tell me. Uh, two of hearts. Two of hearts? Yeah. Okay, you happy with that one? Yeah. Why did you say the two of hearts? Because it was the easiest one. It's funny because one card I left in my pocket before I started was that card. Is that crazy? All right. Who's the one we did you do? You can just tell me a card. One that you see. Seven of the clubs, you mean? Okay. Are you sure? Because remember, the one card in my pocket before I started was the one that you chose. Isn't that crazy? Are you sure? Are you even drinking a lot? Have you been drinking tonight? No. Just tricking you in some certain way. Here's what I'm going to try. I'm going to drop the card. Yeah, drink up. It gets funnier. The cards. So I'm going to stop. And you're going to look at a card. Okay. Then I'm going to turn my head because I could be cheating. Yes. All right. Say stop. Stop. Right there. You happy? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. yeah. You could have said stop on any card. In that one card in my pocket. This time it's in my back pocket. Look. Why am I more impressed than you guys? That's what I want to know. Yeah, you're like, we didn't sign up for this Friday, Jade Buddha. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm just chilling out in my good friend Adam's coffee shop here in Stokes Corner called Bella Roma. If you're in Brisbane, come and check him out. He makes really good coffees. Like the coffees, by the way. Josh, cheers. I'm gonna teach you the trick that you saw on the performance. The trick that you saw. Yeah, I'm gonna teach you the trick that you saw. That's right, I'm making sure my words are coming together right. Here's the thing too. I, you would have noticed me like, hey JJ, this is different. You don't really show us you in a suit, looking all good, just chilling out like that. Usually it's on the street. But I was actually shooting for Pro Magic Live, and if you don't know what Pro Magic Live is, check it out. Welcome to the next level of magic. It's time to step up. Are you ready? This trick. Now, what I love about it is this. It uses a move that I haven't taught before called the spread cull. And the spread cull looks something when you when they see a card here, you can immediately cull it right to the bottom of the deck, which is amazing. And of course, also it does another, I teach you another type of palm as well, where you can make it go to your pocket. Now yeah. I'm already going to say, if you don't know how to do the top palm or a palm, it's on this video, or links are below. You need to learn how to palm off the card, alright, or top palm. Okay, I'll do that again so Josh can focus. <laughs> did you get it? So if you don't know how to palm, you probably want to learn how to do a palm, palm because you need, this trick is uh, a card to your pocket. But I'm just changing it up because I can. Get them to shuffle cards, blah blah blah. Cool, very JJ. Getting them to look at a card. So they go through and they name a the card, alright? Now your presentation is up to you how you do it, but this is what you do. Uh, Josh, can we come over the deck? Is that alright? Thanks, man. Alright. Look at, try not to get my like thongs in it, flip flops. All right, perfect, because I'm totally doing cash right now. All right, by the way, can I just share something right now? A lot of people on television, 
that you might not know, because you only see their top part, a lot of them do wear shorts when they're shooting and flip-flops or flip-flops sometimes. So right now I am, but usually I don't actually because it's very hot today. So this is what the spread car looks like. So let's say someone can go through and they name the cards. So basically they name the eight of spades, okay? So they go through and the eight of spades is definitely in there and of course over here, the eight of spades is right here. Looks pretty amazing. So this is what you do. You're gonna go over and you're gonna find a card to practice. Your left hand is gonna be holding the, pinching the card just like this. So let's say we're using the ten of spades. It's gonna be pinching the card. Your right hand is gonna be holding the rest of the deck. You're gonna be covering the card, coming over and covering the card, covering the card, and at the same time, your thumb's gonna pinch on both of those cards, and your three fingers or two fingers, whatever is comfortable with you, is gonna be pulling, flicking that card out. So you're gonna be flicking the 10 out, so it looks like this. That's it. And then you're gonna leave enough room so you can spread over and those cards are gonna go underneath it, and of course, right on top is the 10 of spades. Now, there is a lot of elements to it, and I will be making another video for you, going into detail, but this is just to speed it up a little bit. You're going through, finding the jack. The, let's, we'll use, so the queen's here. It covers the jack. Your thumb, left thumb goes on top. All right, from underneath, once again, you're flicking the card out, like this, giving it some room so you can push all the cards on top of it or underneath it and of course the jack is on top. So normal speed, all right, and they say, oh, the two of diamonds, you go, interesting, okay, two of diamonds, like that. Now, watch your angles too. Did you see that, Josh? Did you see the card get flicked? Okay, you shouldn't. If, if anything, you might have to turn your hand down a little bit more to cover anything here, but of course, it looks very natural and now the card's on top. And of course, from here, because you know how to palm, then you ask them to go, why don't you choose that card and automatically have top palms? If you don't know the top palm, please learn it. It's really, really good. Top palm, like this. Of course, you don't do it like this. You do it face down. And then, of course, you go straight to your pocket. And then, my hand goes into my pocket, like this. This is a big tip as well. I load the card straight in, like that. Then, I don't come out with the card like this. Because if you were taking a card out of your pocket, you wouldn't do this. You would do this. So do replicate their normal movement with the dirty movement, as they would say. So your hand goes in, and then you come out, like that, and I like this, and you turn over, and that is the card. It's up to you how you want to present it. You can go, hang on, but that they said, oh, is there two cards in there? You go, no, it's the only one, or you go, why don't you choose this one? Whatever you want to do. Then you do it again, all right? Spread cull, cool, oh, okay, perfect. Card to your pocket. And the last time is this. You drop the cards, you dribble the cards. I teach this on the channel. All mobile links are below. We're using, we don't have the mic today, by the way. If anyone goes, the sound's not perfect. We don't have the lapel. Josh is letting someone else borrow it. So we're using the, what? Zoom. Zoom mic. 2000. No. It's always 2000. It's not like 1800. It's like 2000. Last one is this. You dribble the cards. That was terrible dribble. You dribble the cards, they say stop. Then you get a break underneath one. Then it's this move here. But as the cards go on top, this is, a, this is a little bit more difficult. Like if you want advanced moves, this is a little bit more difficult. You're using your three fingers to pick up from the break and you're angling it in your hand like this. And then you immediately go to your pocket and you bring out the card, of course, because it's face up. So once again, they say stop. They said a 10 of diamonds. The cards go on top, you're in this position with a break, all right, on top of the Ten of Diamonds. Then, you lift up with your right hand some of the cards, you use your middle finger and ring finger to angle that card out, and it's going to be angled with your pinky. You're going to angle it into your pinky, this is why you need to load a palm, and it goes straight into palm, it's really good, and then straight away, you go, your hand goes straight to your pocket, make sure a little tip too, that if you're palming cards, you don't have this happen. This is called a window. You don't want to show a window. You want to close your hands. Then, hand goes to your pocket. Boom, Calvin Klein, and then the card comes out. Once again, I will do this in more detail in more videos, but I hope you enjoyed it. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video on this side with myself, the Century. Boom, boom.
I'm just gonna do this for the tax man to show that the personal training is paying off. On this side of the video, you're gonna see uh, two boxes and a subscriber. Of course, if you're not a subscriber, come on, come on, man, come on, player, subscribe. Be cool, be part of the community, have fun. Once again, if you want to know when I bring out videos or images of of new tricks and, and new products, go to my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash free magic live. But you're gonna learn, you're gonna see a box that says slights. Slights is things like mechanics brick, grip, um, spreading over the cards, um, a palm. You need to learn things like this. This is important if you're gonna learn anything, any more harder tricks as you guys uh, always tell me you wanna do. And then of course you're gonna see um, another box which is learning some magic tricks. They're just more cool tricks that you have to learn. So that's it. Slights, learning tricks, subscribe, and I'll see you on the Facebook page or I'll see you in the next video, which is next week. See ya.